Okay, guys, so I just posted on the chat. Next challenger, there we go. Um, now it's time for Cloister, which I think definitely has less potential. Um, definitely has less potential than um, than the Alolan Mox Alazo deck we just used. That last game, Out Control 1, thank you so much for the game. That was super fun, super, super intense. That was so, so fun. And yeah, this deck doesn't have as much potential. Um, it's mostly a very annoying deck to play against, I think, uh, because Cloister can paralyze, I believe. Um, with Victini, it will be paralyzing 75% of the time. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, we start Victini, and not much else, <laughs> which seems to be the story today. But okay. Um, so Sin27, I assume you are Sinister James, so thank you so much for sending the challenge, and we top deck, and no trouble, okay. So goodbye Kuzma, ooh, we're up against Tapu Koko GX. Okay, so we are running Lele here, so as you can see we have Shelter, we have Ranguru, we do have Bridget, we have Lilies, we have Energy Denial, so yeah. You guys will get to see the cloister in action. <laughs> My opponent says he hopes um, I enjoy his spins. I will say likewise. <laughs> okay, so we are going to Bridget here. We are going to use Bridget. There we go. And by the way, by the way, guys, um, <laughs> uh, I just, I just. Um, got informed that Tabletop Village, um, that Tabletop Village just put up um, pre-sales for uh, code cards for Ultra Prism. So if you guys are looking for those, um, I think they're definitely the place to check out. Um, from what I've heard, their prices are very, very competitive and some of the best you can find. So um, if you guys are interested, it would be a great great time for you guys to take advantage of that um, and let me find uh, I'll be posting the link on my Facebook page for you guys if you want to check it out which gives you on top of the competitive price a 10% discount and okay so even shelter can be annoying here so I'll be posting the link on um, on my Facebook page for you guys to check them out. Um, a lot of people were asking about them. So, just in case you're interested. If you're not, then just completely disregard what I am saying and enjoy the cloister annoying fun. <laughs> okay, so we see Ultra Ball, away the Aether Paradise and Multi Switch. So, I guess there's the first, um, there's the first meme. However, um, it's gonna be difficult to play against this deck because of Tapu Koko's ability, which will allow my opponent to get rid of the paralysis that we were trying to get every single turn and get a knockout that way. Okay. Ultra Prison code cards with 10% discount if you follow this link. Spread the word. There we go. So I just posted the link, guys, in case you want to check it out and get some code cards at a 10% discount. Okay, so... How... Oh, the, the supers go up. Okay, so we're in a little bit of trouble. Um, I could just play the Team Flirt Grunt here to get rid of an energy and delay the Coco. My opponent would need to find his third type of Coco. In order to to pull this off, um, unfortunately, the enhanced hammer will be completely useless here, and I think I should retreat my Victini um, just to say that because another Coco does mean um, Cloister goes down, and I I mean the Victini goes down, and I'd really like to keep the Victini alive because it's very very useful. So I'm gonna promote the Lele. If I lose the Lele, that's okay, I think. I'm just gonna pass here. 
And yeah. Okay guys, so maybe my chat isn't working properly. Hope you guys aren't having any problems with the stream or anything. If you are, please, please, please let me know. But so far looking good. Okay, so we see a super scoop up. Already four energy to play. Um, but that's fine, I guess. Sky High Class here deals some amount of damage. My opponent has a Tapu Goku in his hand. That means... Um, Okay, maybe not. Tapu Goku is now in play. Um, he's just switching around. <laughs> he's just switching around. And there's the 140 damage. So now we get another energy so we can start possibly using Clamp. If we find a way to retreat that Tapu Lele and is it worth it here to go Lele for Kuzma and try to trap the bench Tapu Koko? Probably not. I'll just Lele here for extra cards. Ah, drawing those hammers is very annoying, but I guess it's fine for now. Um, we're gonna lose a Lele. That means our um, that means our um, counter energies will be activated for a while here and. JGB, um, stream seems fine, awesome, uh, chat, <laughs> I'm not sure, seems good as well, um, thank you so much, and I guess people are just very interested in seeing how Cloyster does. <laughs> um, Evel, hello, I'm doing well, thank you so much for asking, how about you, thanks so much for stopping by. Um, Pipe Zero, hello, all the way to Chile, thanks so much for watching, and there's the Sky High Plus knockouts. So, two prizes for my opponent. Um, I could start using Clamp uh, with my... Because attaching an extra energy to the shoulder doesn't seem worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I will also end my opponents. And there's a third counter energy. Ooh. Okay, so Dacer Paradise means I won't be able to deal any damage to the Tapu Koko at all. Right? Any damage whatsoever. But that might not be bad, actually. That might actually not be bad. So... Oh, never mind. Um, Clamp Crush? Okay, I was thinking of a different cloister. We're not gonna deal any damage. However, if we get heads, we, we paralyze. If we get tails, we actually discard an energy. Um, so we get heads. Uh, we want the paralysis for now, I think. Oh, wait, what? Oh. If you flip heads, you paralyze and you discard an energy. It's not if you flip tails, you discard if you flip. Oh, 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 that's actually better than I initially thought. And the bodybuilding dumbbells, unfortunately, do not help us survive the sky high claws. Um, that was my intention, at least. Unless we find a field lower and we remove the Fighting Fury Belt. Um, but yeah, maybe we can actually outstall my opponent here. Uh, at his full-on 4-4 Tapu Koko deck, <laughs> I would imagine. Um, Billy B, hello, thanks so much for being here. And wow, okay, so Cloyster is actually really good. <laughs> okay, so we see a pass by our opponent. We can Ultra Ball for yet another uh, Clamperl, which is really nice. I mean, not Clamperl, Shelder. <laughs> All these Pokemon are so confusing. Clamperl and Shelder are very much alike, right? Um, and generally, not dealing any damage just doesn't um, concern me too, too much. We already have the Triple. We already have the Triple... Um, Cloisters essentially prepared. Uh, there we go. <laughs> so I'm gonna clamp crush. We get heads again. We do not want to flip again for sure. I generally did not realize. When I built the deck, I thought it was heads, paralyzed, tails, remove energy. But it's actually heads do both. <laughs> I'm impressed by cloister. I am actually impressed by cloister. 
Um, we see another Fighting Fury belt. Ooh, we see a Super Scoop Up Tails, which is awesome. Um, not dealing any damage means a Cerola is actually not useful to my opponent here. And that's the third Super Scoop Up that my opponent has used so far, which is really good. There's the last Super Scoop Up. There's a Head Slip. That's fine. So we're gonna lose one Cloyster, but that's the last Super Scoop Up we will have to go through. Um, no Field Blower, which means no way to discard uh, the Stadium and therefore do some damage to the Tapu Goku. But maybe we can just, like, once we get rid of all the energy, if we can get to a point where we just get rid of all the energy, um, we can then start using Spike Cannon <laughs> and flipping 5 coins and dealing as much as 150 damage. So, okay, my opponent 100% guaranteed has a Tapu Go Go GX in his hand. Which is not great for us. Because that means he can remove the paralysis. Um, body building dumbbells is actually not helping us in any way whatsoever. So I'm just gonna end here. Have to be careful with decking ourselves out. Okay, so we're gonna see a shelter, we're gonna attach energy to it. And we're gonna clamp crush. As long as we don't flip double tails in a row, which is supposedly um, unlikely, we could be okay here. Could, very big, could be okay here. Okay, well, actually, actually, the bodybuilding dumbbells could actually make a difference here. No! <laughs> Why from the end to three? Oh, he gets the Coco, the Fury Belt, and the Leole. That's not fair. <laughs> that is so not fair. That's the last time that type of Oh, if we damage the Cocos, then he says her all start working. Ooh, Kuzma. Ah, oh, Kuzma is so annoying too. Does he have an energy? Does he really just have an energy? He goes for the Guzma, that's fine. We can retreat here. We can retreat the Oranguru, or we can just Guzma ourselves and trap that Tapu Goku once again. Or not. <laughs> or not. Or our other two Guzmas can be prime. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no. Why are our Guzmas prized? Oh. So do I just start pressuring here? I think so, or try to at least. Um, Oranguru is not a terrible attacker here. Oh, that's so bad though. Come on. <laughs> Two Guzmas prized. Oranguru is not important. If I lose Oranguru here, that's completely fine. Well, it's not fine because we're now down to two prizes for my opponent, and a Guzma means because of all the energy we have attached, he can just knock out the top of Leole. Huh. Ah, finally. Okay, I think the Field Blower will be better used at removing these two cards. And then I'm gonna Clamp Crush. Tails, I would like to reflip. No, double tails, why? Why? Double tails, why? <sighs> We're struggling so much. <laughs> We're struggling so, so much. Okay, but we survived the hit, which is nice, I guess. Kind of nice. So, all I do is clap crush here. Tails. Four tails in a row. Four tails in a row. Why does that happen to us guys? Why? Yep, there's a double acerola. Discarded. 
Double tails. How many ends? Three. Okay. Ah, double tails. <laughs> the one deck that counters us really bad. Okay, down to one prize card for my opponent. So, one Coco and energy away. One Coco and energy away. If we had been able to maybe keep pressuring the Coco um, with a Kuzma, that would have been really cool. But unfortunately, that was not the case. Unfortunately, that was not the case. We see a Lele, so we're gonna see a Kuzma, and Energy, Knockout on Shelter, or Victini, and that's gonna be the game. Oh. <laughs> okay. We tried, guys. We generally tried. Okay, so the strategy is actually better than I initially than I initially thought. So we struggled, we definitely struggled, but <laughs> we're not happy with Victini. I'm not happy with Victini. I flipped four tails in a row, and that probably doesn't change the fact that I would have lost. Um, but you never know. So. Let me accept, and then whoever wants to challenge this very annoying <laughs> Cloyster deck can just send the next challenge. There we go, Techno Kid. There we go, and then this will be the last game for Cloyster, and then we can move on to just one game with Gengar, I believe, uh, because I have a half coaching session starting in exactly 40 minutes, so that's the maximum the maximum amount of time I can stream um, left, like the maximum amount of time. <laughs> Sincere James, GG, that was pretty fun. Um, Cloyster was actually better than I initially thought. And why, why do you guys like using Sylvian? Why do you guys like using Sylvian against me? Oh, oh, and he, my opponent just starts with the rods. Okay. So, since I know, since I know this is Sylvian, I'm not going to do anything else beyond attaching to the shelter. What are the odds that my opponent started Rare Candy Cardivore? Not very high. Started Tinkler Grunt, I guess pretty high. Okay, this is not, I should have benched the shelter, maybe. Um, I get to Aqua Patch, I get to Attach, and I get to lay down the Floatstone, and then Retreat, and play this. I probably don't need the Hammer, I probably don't need the, body, the Bodybuilding Dumbbells, I'll just grab the team. That way I can um, have a 75% chance at doing something. I won't evolve because I can't evolve this shoulder. There's the tails, I would like to reflip. There's the heads, perfect. 30 and paralyzed, so no retreating for the rocks. Um, evol, yep. Um, all the coaching that I do is done through Skype. <laughs> through, sc <laughs> through Skype and through what? Through, sc <laughs> through Skype and through uh, PTCGO. That's okay, no need to apologize, TechnoKid. As unlikely as it was, it was still a possibility. Um, very unlikely to start their alts, have the one word candy, and have the one... Um, and have the one Gardevoir without searching at all, but... We have a 75% chance to keep that card of war from being useful. So we eliminate the energy, we get the damage in, so slowly but surely, maybe, 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 we can do something here. And the knockout activated the, the counter energy, so it's not too bad. The thing is, <laughs> in uh, knocking out this card of war is gonna be an 8 hit KO, <laughs> which is never fun. 
Plant Crush. I just I want to keep the Gardevoir paralyzed until hopefully until odds are I will take a knockout with Spike Cannon. Touching the energy now seems very silly. Ooh, it's Rolla. Touching the energy now seems very silly. <sighs> okay. Okay. I mean, we can prevent the search with the paralysis, though, which is okay. So if I were my opponent, what would I search for? Probably three energy denial stuff to try and make sure that I can't attack in continuous turns. Um, well, and another energy as well. So I'll play the Grunt. I'll play the Grunt. Hello, Pokemon and Wife. Thanks so much for being here. And I'll play the Clamp Crush. Because, I mean, I'm really looking for the paralysis, right? To prevent, to prevent the searches. Um, okay, this is like a better version of a lowland Sancho Flutini meal, <laughs> potentially. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, things got out of hand. Things just got out of control. Anytime you don't paralyze, you're in trouble. I wouldn't have the Isrola. Um, if we had paralyzed here, maybe we could do something. <sighs> Things are not looking good at all. Things are not looking good at all for us. And Kuzma. Kuzma seems. Okay, ish. No, not really. My opponent obviously, obviously searched for another energy, another way to remove my energy, and probably an Acerola or double puzzle, and he gets back Acerola and he gets back or not. Okay, Lusamine. Ooh, double team for Trump. Okay, so we need an energy right here, right now. Or the Sycamore works. The Sycamore works so that we keep, absolutely keep finding energy. I will attach this, and so we Clamp Crush once again. We want the Paralysis here. There we go, perfect. We need a million Paralysis. And my opponent didn't lose something for the Acerola, which is good. Um... Okay, my opponent knows the energy, that's fine. Don't you think it would be more fun to play Fondex and expand it since you have a wider variety of cards? Um, yes, Crimson Akali, um, that's a that's an okay argument to make. Um, it could potentially be a bit more fun to play... Um, ooh, do I keep the end? Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep the end. Um, it could be a bit more fun to play and expand it because there are simply more cards, access to more cards. Before, for the Pokedex series, um, I did make a lot of expanded decks and a lot of legacy decks as well. The thing is, um, it's actually like not too easy. Um, I don't know. Now that I'm playing against you guys, I feel like um, having access to like Ace Picks and stuff, it would be a lot harder. Um, so to make the the field as even as possible, that's why I'm trying to to just focus on standard for now for the series. Uh, but it's definitely a possibility. Like if I if I have a couple of games or a couple of cards in a row that I really can't find a good standard version of the deck for, um, I can definitely try to make them expanded as well, and I'll let you guys beforehand. Um, okay, so. We're slowly but surely getting there, guys. No energy removal the previous turn, which is nice. Um, so yeah, let's just keep paralyzing. Spike Cannon, on average, deals um, 75 damage. And Sylvian currently has 240 HP. So this game might take a while. But I'm determined to get one win with Cloyster. <laughs> just the one win with two. Um, Clamp Crush, 30 more, Tails, Reflip, oh, Double Tails, darn it, okay, at least we have the end, no, <laughs> okay, it's gonna be a while, guys, 
<laughs> it's actually gonna be a while. Oh boy. Okay, so we're gonna end and then we're gonna start over. Your most fun list is an expanded for sure. Oh, EX Dragon IDX toolbox is so amazing. <laughs> yeah, that sounds actually very fun to use. Um, okay, so N. How many energy does this usually run? Like 9? No, 11, fairy. So we have 7 more to go. <laughs> um, the Aqua Patch is nice. We have the Cloister powered up. And so we're gonna Clamp Crush. And here we go! gonna be a long and steady wins the race kind of thing maybe um, consecutive double tails in a row um, not much you can do about that magical ribbon now we don't have an to counter that which is really sad now we don't have an anymore or we can just top deck the end. That works too. That actually works. It's like Metapod versus Metapod indeed. <laughs> Except I'm very close to decking out. Except I am very, very close to decking out. So can we please average 75% here? Thank you. Four tails in a row. It can happen, obviously. It can happen. The thing is, we're not gonna win by prizes, and we're not gonna win by deck out. So, Lusamine for Lusamine and Grunt, or Lusamine, yeah, something like that, probably here. Lusamine and Acer Oba, okay. Okay, so. Huh, if I goose my here, if I goose my the roll, that could be a way to get a knockout. Uh, it's not worth it. No, he just ate all the throws. I wanna flip again. This is Metapod, like with Metapod. Um, you feel like this deck needs choice band, you do damage so slowly and eventually are bound to hit a double tails. That's very true. Um, probably, instead of the bodybuilding dumbbells, um, choice band would probably be better. Um, with extra damage, I would definitely be putting in a lot, a lot more pressure here. So there's the head slip. You are right, bird boy. Um, with choice band, um, Techno Kid would be forced to to deal with this a lot sooner. Okay, so. We have a chance at taking two prizes here. I'm gonna take it. I am going to take it. Evil, thank you so much for the subscription. You guys have been pulling through today. Thank you so, so much. Thank you for subscribing. That's very, very kind of you. Ooh, I need another energy for Spike Cannon. I forgot about that. <laughs> I generally forgot about that. Um, thank you so much for the subscription. Like I said, well, thank you so, so much. Thank you to all of the new subscribers, the old subscribers, the new followers, the people who are just in the chat. Thank you to everyone for hanging out. Okay, there's the Acerola. Lots of cards in my opponent's hand. We have 13 more turns. Can we actually do something? Because we might not have time to do Gengar after this. And, I mean, just in case, guys, uh, tomorrow I will be doing the same um, feature of playing against you guys on the chat. It, the stream will be in Spanish, but um, it should still be quite fun. And it'll be different decks than today. So in case you guys want to hang out here. Um, okay, so tails, can I flip heads? Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going anywhere. Because even then, like, we have one end left. That's the only way we can shuffle cards back into our deck. There's just there's too many turns <laughs> where my opponent will just exhaust our resources. Five, five basic energy. We would need like four to be prized <laughs> to have some sort of chance. Um, ooh, my opponent just didn't do anything. Okay, so now we have the energy. So let's just keep using Clamp Crush. 
failed. Would you like to flip again? No. Yeah, I think with Lusamine, getting back Lusamine and Azerola, it's a never-ending cycle, right? So we might have to rely on the five head flip from Spike Cannon. I misclicked there. <laughs> misclicked. Okay. So, do we take a risk? We need all five heads. So, yeah, probably not. Probably not quite. Clamp Rush. <laughs> Head slip paralysis. Paralysis. So, now we need four out of five. Not too bad. My opponent is using Lusamine to get back everything. Well, let's try to go for the Spike Cannon. Right? Let's try to go for the Spike Cannon. That might force an Azerola instead of a Grunt. And we have Victini. There's one head, two heads. Two heads. Would you like to flip again? Yes, please. One heads. Two heads. Three heads. No, so close. So close, we needed one more to take a knockout. We needed one more to take a knockout. So close. <laughs> okay, so does he ace Rola here? Probably. I would imagine so. Oh no, he can just max potion. That works too. And then Team Flurry grabs the energy away, taking away all the fun. <laughs> Uh, choose it to reduce my damage output as well. So yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna concede. <laughs> there is nothing I can do at this point. Um, Sylvian definitely not the most fun deck to play against. Um, so yeah, thank you for the game, Techno Kid. I'm just gonna concede because there's nothing I can do anymore. Um, I tried, <laughs> at least I tried. So yeah, guys, um, because I only have. Very little time left. We have time for one match with Gengar. One match. And please, please, please don't play a stall deck. Please, please, please don't play a stall deck. Otherwise, um, we won't be able to finish the match. But I do have time for one match to play against you guys with Gengar. So, whoever wants to send the challenge, please feel free to do so. 